are just elated. We are high and happy and peacock proud that you have come <laughs> to spend some time with us. Uh, we will start our program off with a prayer by uh, Sharon Martin. Next, we will have our welcome and introductions by Dr. Laverne Hollyfield, followed by the occasion. Shall we pray? Almighty God, we want to thank you, Lord, for your bountiful blessings. We want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us to experience your, your grace and your mercy. We want to thank you for the eclipse that took place the other day. You're letting us know that who's all in control of every single thing that we do. And we want to thank you and glorify your name. We want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for those who have gathered this afternoon. We beg and pray you bless every person that's here. Those who are being honored, Father God, we just want to thank you for bringing them our way. We beg and pray that you do please continue to lead us, guide us, direct us, and keep us, Father God. Thank you for all you've done. Please remember those who are sickly, Father, in a special way. We beg and pray you bless this entire afternoon. In the holy and righteous name of Jesus, we do pray, Father. Amen. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is absolutely great to see all of you here. Is it not on? Okay. Is that better? No. Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> I didn't think I needed it, but I appreciate it. I want to thank you for taking the time to join us for this reception. We're so grateful to see all of you, and we'll be just having a chance to, to get to know better some of the individuals from our community that we will be honoring in about two weeks, just shy of two weeks on April 27th. It's, it's good to have this opportunity to make introductions so that we can get to know who's here, and so I'd like to get started. I want to introduce the governor of the South Central District. Let me stop by saying we are a member of the National Association of Negro Business and Professional Women's Clubs Incorporated. And the National Association is headquartered in Washington, D.C. We have six geographic districts and one international district. And the state of Texas is a part of the South Central District. So the highest ranking officer in our district is here with us today, and that is none other than our governor, Mrs. Arlie Gilstrap. <laughs> Please keep standing, Madam Governor, because now I'd like to ask all of the past presidents in the room if you would please stand. And this is just a very small number. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Madam First Vice President is walking through the door. That's Candy Bradshaw. Uh, all other elected officers, please stand. Excuse me. Other officers on board. Sharon, Mary. There they are. Um, and members of our club, would you stand? So I think that is it, except for our honorees, and you're going to get to meet them later. Oh, I'm sorry. Our district government, <laughs> vice governor is here. Gail Timms, please stand. <laughs> I think that's it, except for honorees and their guests, and I'm going to, if you're an honoree, please stand. Your name will be called Claire. And if you're a guest of an honorary, please say. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's everybody. Okay, now we will have our occasion by Club Sister 
Mary Hill Hubbard. After that, we will have the introduction of honorees by Candy Bradshaw, the first vice president. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I don't think I need the mic either. <laughs> I thought you could. <laughs> One person, sister told me one year we were at the nursing home. She said, I heard you when we got out of the car. <laughs> okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure for me to look out and see you today. Now, I have been asked to do a very important thing. And that thing is to let you know why you're here. Okay. Some of you are wondering why you're here. Well, after I sat down, I hope that you realize why you're here. As Madam President stated, Saturday, April the 27th, we will have the V. Alice Foster Trailblazer Awards luncheon. We have held that luncheon since 1964. At that time, you honorees will be publicly introduced and acknowledged to the public at that event. We've had that event for years, and we figured out at that event that we really didn't get to know the honorees. Because at that time, you get come up, you get your award, you take your picture, you look real pretty, and then you go back to your seat. So the only thing we knew about you is what we had published in our souvenir journal. So after a while, we, re we recognized that we needed to rectify that, and this reception was born. And it was born for us to get to know each one of you better. <laughs> this is where you can come and you can tell us whatever you desire to tell us 